to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. President Obama's kicked off a series of heavily promoted speeches about the economy and his plan to rejuvenate the U.S. middle class. Speaking in Illinois, Obama said the nation's economic recovery has been too skewed toward the top 1 percent. Even though our businesses are creating new jobs and have broken record profits, Nearly all the income gains of the past 10 years have continued to flow to the top 1 percent. The average CEO has gotten a raise of nearly 40 percent since 2009. The average American earns less than he or she did in 1999. It undermines the very essence of America, that idea that if you, if you work hard, you can make it here. And that's why reversing these trends has to be Washington's highest priority. We'll have more from Obama's speech later in the broadcast with response from economist Richard Wolf. Rallies were held across the United States Wednesday in a national day of action to increase the minimum wage. The Raise the Wage protests were held on the fourth anniversary of the last time the minimum wage was increased to the current rate of $7.25 an hour. In cities from coast to coast, demonstrators rallied outside major retailers and fast food chains, including Walmart, Target, Dunkin' Donuts, and Papa John's. In Washington, D.C., protesters broke into song in one of several stops at local McDonald's. You low-wage workers, you deserve a living wage of at least $13 an hour. You think yeah. you can make it a little yeah. Yeah. Right now, as we speak, all across America, people are standing up and stepping out and fighting for you. Raise your wages, Raise your The Raise the Wage protest in New York City. Fast food workers voted to authorize their third citywide strike for a living wage and the right to unionize without intimidation. The workers assembled in Brooklyn's Prospect Park. They're not going to give us what we want, and we're going to stay in poverty. We're going to keep on suffering. I know you're tired of suffering. I don't want to see the next generation suffering and suffering. I don't want my kids suffering. I want to make sure they have a better future than I did. So if I want that to happen, I need you guys to stand with me just as long as I'm standing with you guys to fight for this 15 and you in a better living wage in New York City. Because it's not right. released Wednesday. So we do something about it. A new poll released Wednesday by the National Employment Law Project Action Fund shows 80 percent of Americans support raising the minimum wage to $10.10 an hour and adjusting it for costs of living. 75 percent listed a minimum wage hike as a top congressional priority over the next year.